I would just like to thank everyone who is helping to grow this channel. I appreciate you. Aries, the Ram of the Zodiac, let's see what May has in store for you. First up, we have the Emperor, symbolizing authority and leadership. This card indicates that May will be a month where you'll take charge, exhibiting strong decision-making skills. Next, we have the Tower, a card often associated with sudden change and upheaval. But fear not, Aries, for this card also signifies the clearing of old patterns to make way for fresh starts. It's a chance for you to rebuild stronger and better. Finally, we have the Star, a beacon of hope inspiration and unexplored potential this card suggests that despite any challenges that come your way in may you'll remain optimistic and keep your eyes on the prize in essence aries your tarot reading for may is a mix of authority change and hope aries brace yourself for a month of transformation and self-discovery happy birthday taurus the dependable bull here's your tarot forecast the Hierophant card suggests a month of deep spiritual exploration and learning for you. It's a call to follow established social structures and traditions. There may be a mentor or teacher who will guide you, or perhaps you will play this role for someone else. The Lover's card is all about relationships, harmony, and choices. It indicates the possibility of a major decision about a personal relationship or a moral dilemma. Be true to your heart in making these decisions. Lastly, the Hanged Man card indicates a period of suspension and waiting. It's a time for you to pause and see things from a different perspective. You may need to let go of something to move forward. This card also signifies spiritual growth and enlightenment. Remember Taurus, these are just guides, and you always have your free will. A month of decision-making and spiritual growth awaits you Taurus. Next up, Gemini, the twins, let's peek into your tarot cards for May. First, we have The Lovers, a card that signifies harmonious relationships and personal alignment. It's a wonderful card to kick off your reading, Gemini, hinting at a month filled with companionship and understanding. Then we have The Chariot, a powerful card embodying determination and control. This card suggests that you'll have the reins of your life firmly in your hands this May. It's a call to harness your willpower and drive to achieve your goals. Finally, we have the Death Card. Don't be alarmed, Gemini. In Tarot, the Death Card represents transformation and the end of a cycle. It's about shedding the old to make way for the new. This May, embrace change and welcome new beginnings with open arms. Gemini, prepare for a month of choices, movement, and transformation. Now Cancer, the Nurturing Crab, let's explore your Tarot reading. We find three cards in your spread, the Chariot, the Hermit, and the Moon. The Chariot is a symbol of triumph and control, hinting at a period of success in May. You'll find yourself steering the reins of your life, moving forward with determination and confidence. Next, we have the Hermit. This card represents introspection and soul-searching. It suggests a time of solitude, ideal for self-reflection, discovery, and growth. You might need to take a step back from the hustle and bustle to truly understand what your heart desires. Finally, the moon, a card of intuition, dreams, and the subconscious. This card indicates that you'll have a profound emotional connection in May. It's a time to trust your instincts and let your inner voice guide you. Cancer, anticipate a month of introspection and emotional connection. Trust in your journey and let the tarot guide your path. Leo, the bold lion, here's your tarot forecast for May. The strength card, representing your sign, Leo, suggests a month of inner power and resilience. Harness this energy to overcome any challenges that come your way. Remember to exercise patience and compassion, both with others and with yourself. Next up is the sun, a card known for vitality and enlightenment. It's a sign of great joy, success, and personal fulfillment. This May, expect to feel a boost in your spirits and an overall sense of well-being. Finally, we have the World Card, symbolizing completion, accomplishment, and travel. This could mean the successful conclusion of a project or the start of a new journey. Whatever the case, it's a time for celebration and gratitude. These cards together paint a picture of a month filled with strength, joy, and achievement. Leo, a vibrant and fulfilling month awaits you. 
Next, Virgo the Meticulous Maiden, let's dive into your tarot reading. The first card drawn is the Hermit. This card represents your nature, Virgo, a sign of introspection and wisdom. It's a call to take a step back, to reflect and understand the path you've walked and where it's leading. The Wheel of Fortune spins next, a symbol of change and new beginnings. This card represents the cyclic nature of life, sometimes up, sometimes down, but always moving forward. This May, you might find a significant shift in your life, perhaps a new opportunity or a change in perspective. Finally, the Magician appears, symbolizing power and resourcefulness. It's a reminder of your potential, Virgo, your ability to turn ideas into reality, to create and manifest. With these cards, the universe whispers a message of introspection, change, and empowerment. Virgo, a month of introspection and new beginnings is on the horizon. Libra, the harmonious scales, here's your tarot forecast for May. We begin with the Justice card, perfectly representative of your zodiac sign, the scales of balance. This card signifies fairness, truth, and law. It's a reminder to make decisions with integrity and honesty in the coming month. Next, we have the Empress, a symbol of femininity, beauty, nature, and abundance. For you, Libra, this card suggests a time of nurturing, of embracing your creative energy. It encourages you to connect with your inner Empress, to find balance in love and relationships, and to create beauty in your life. Lastly, we find the Tower, a card often associated with sudden change and upheaval. But fear not, Libra. The Tower also signifies transformation and the opportunity for growth. It's a call to break down old structures to make way for new ones. Libra, prepare for a month of balance, nurturing, and transformation. Scorpio, the passionate scorpion, let's explore your tarot reading. Your first card is death, symbolizing profound transformation and change. This card doesn't signify physical death, but rather the ending of a cycle. It's an opportunity for you to leave behind what no longer serves you, to make room for new beginnings. Your second card, the devil, speaks to your inherent confrontational nature. This card is about facing your shadows, confronting your fears, and overcoming your temptations. It's a reminder that you hold the power to break free from any chains that bind you. Lastly, we have the High Priestess, a card of intuition, secrets, and the subconscious. This card encourages you to trust your intuition, dig deeper beneath the surface, and tap into your inner wisdom. It's a call to listen to your inner voice and trust what it's telling you. Scorpio, a month of transformation, confrontation, and intuition awaits you. Sagittarius, the adventurous archer, here's your tarot forecast for May. Let's start with Temperance, a card representing balance and moderation. This month, you're encouraged to find harmony in your relationships, work, and personal pursuits. It's time to blend your different worlds into one peaceful existence. Next, we have the Wheel of Fortune, symbolizing change and cycles. This card reminds us that life is a constant cycle of ups and downs. For you, Sagittarius, expect a turn of the wheel this May. It could be a change in circumstances or perspective, but it's all part of your growth. Lastly, we have the Fool, a card of new beginnings and free spirit. This card encourages you to embrace your adventurous side, to take a leap of faith, Maybe it's time to start that project you've been thinking about, or perhaps it's a new relationship or journey you're about to embark on. Sagittarius, a month of balance, change, and new beginnings is on the horizon. Capricorn, the ambitious goat, let's delve into your tarot reading. The first card drawn for you is the Devil. This card symbolizes temptation and materialism. It's a reminder not to lose sight of your spiritual and personal growth in the pursuit of your ambitions. Next, we have the Hanged Man. This card signifies a period of introspection and surrender, a time to let go of old habits and perspectives. It encourages you to seek wisdom from within and to embrace transformation. The final card is the Emperor, representing structure, authority, and leadership. It's a sign that you are in control of your destiny and that your hard work and discipline will lead to success. These cards together suggest a journey of self-discovery and personal growth. They urge you to stay grounded, to embrace change, and to assert your leadership. Capricorn, brace yourself for a month of introspection, 
transformation, and leadership. Aquarius, the visionary water bearer, here's your tarot forecast for May. The star card is first up for you, signifying a time of hope and inspiration. It's a symbol of your creative and humanitarian nature, reminding you to stay true to your innovative ideas. Next, the Hierophant card represents tradition and structure. This suggests a time to uphold your values and principles, perhaps even seeking guidance from a mentor or elder. Lastly, the Moon card symbolizes a journey into the emotional self, often linked to dreams and the subconscious. This card encourages you to explore your emotions and trust your intuition. It's a time for self-reflection, where you can uncover truths about yourself and your relationships. The star, the hierophant, and the moon together indicate a blend of hope, tradition, and emotional exploration, perfectly aligning with your Aquarian nature. Aquarius, a month of hope, tradition, and emotional connection awaits you. Last but not least, Pisces, the intuitive fishes, let's explore your tarot reading. We begin with the moon, a card symbolic of your ruling planet. This card often signifies mystery, the subconscious, and dreams. Pisces, this might suggest a time of introspection and discovery, embracing the unknown aspects of your life. Next up is the Tower, a card that might initially seem daunting, but it's all about transformation. It signifies upheaval and unexpected change, but remember Pisces, these changes often bring about new beginnings, so embrace the shakeup, it's all part of your journey. Finally, we have the High Priestess, a card that mirrors your intuitive nature perfectly. It represents wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. This card encourages you to trust your intuition, Pisces. It's one of your strongest assets. This month, the cards speak of a journey of self-discovery, transformation, and intuition for you. So Pisces, prepare for a month of introspection, transformation, and intuition. And that wraps up our tarot readings for all the zodiac signs for May. We've journeyed through the cosmos, touching down in each zodiac's celestial realm, revealing the energies and opportunities that await. From the fiery ambition of Aries to the dreamy depths of Pisces, each sign has a unique narrative unfolding. Please like and subscribe today!